the person for Rama Soro. Hey, Rama Soro. Hey, Rama. Don't tell someone that their head has spoiled. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to be saying this in this video, but I have to because some people have been looking for my trouble and they're your bad people. And Yeah, guys, new language unlock. Ooh. So it's been officially one week since I started learning Yoruba. Yay! I do recognize that there are lots of non Nigerians watching my YouTube channel. So I'm going to let you in on some info about. The Yoruba language. Yoruba is a language spoken in West Africa, primarily in Nigeria, Benin, and Togo. It belongs to the Niger Congo language family and is a part of the Volta Niger branch. Yoruba is tonal, meaning that the pitch of a word can change its meaning. It is spoken by over 20 million people and is one of the four official languages of Nigeria. Yoruba has influenced many other languages and has a rich literary tradition, including various forms of poetry, prose, and drama. Now you may be tempted to ask why you bad language. Well, I made a video some time ago telling you that I quit my job as a Chinese translator. My work was driving me crazy. I didn't give you the entire story because I resumed a new job as a Chinese translator in a town very close to Lagos. For those who do not know Lagos, Lagos is a very popular city of the great country Nigeria. You may be asking, how has that got to do with this video? Good question. In this new city, I have no friends, I have no family, I only work. My job is basically to translate from Mandarin to English. Pretty easy, right? But not so easy. People of this town predominantly speak Yoruba and only some people understand English. And even those that understand English only understand a bit of it. Making English comprehension really hard and hence making my work very difficult. So I decided to give myself this challenge to learn Yoruba within the shortest possible time. Do you believe in me? Initially, I planned on learning this language by just listening to natives speak. But trust me, I heard them say so many things like Bawoni, Odabo, Ekaro, Ekale. So many things, they were literally so confusing. And trust me, I couldn't just walk up to a stranger and say, what's it meaning of what you're saying? It'll freak them out. Everything pretty much sounded the same in my ears. This is the more reason why I pity those people who say they can literally just rely on listening to native speakers speak the language and they'll pick up from there. Trust me it is not gonna work so i decided to officially learn this language myself by downloading resources online i succeeded in downloading some apps such as yoruba 101 as well as other applications on apple play store but guess what they were all trash these apps mainly didn't give me audios to know how to pronounce this word they just dealt on text and that was it so today i'm going to let you in on some things i have learned as a yoruba student so for those people who already know how to speak yoruba please do not judge me i am only a student and this is the first time i am actively learning this language so there's a first set of things i've learned in yoruba I learned how to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Basically, this language has been very confusing for me when I first came because I'd always hear things like a car, a car song, a car, a cool, a cool, a cabo, a dabo, a daro, a dale, a be odala. I don't know. It was always sounding confusing. I would just assume everything was good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or like, okay, good morning, good afternoon, evening, then what is a kule, then what is a odabo? Like, I literally did not know how to differentiate these things, but they were things that I heard very often. So basically, after learning, I realized that good morning in Yoruba is a caro. Good morning is a carol. Please, if my pronunciation is bad, just correct me on the comment section 
do not bash me just say it with love in your heart i am an ishine girl i do not understand yoruba so yeah good morning is a caro good afternoon is a castle good evening is a kale a kale please don't go thailand yes i forgot to tell you guys i got a teacher on youtube who actually explained these things the way i wanted to be taught you know some teachers you just meet you be like yeah this is my teacher some teachers you meet no matter how much they teach you will not understand so I, I think her name is blessing on youtube i just followed her and i was able to learn some basic things that have been helping me so yeah back to the video good morning a caro good afternoon a car song good evening is a kale and then yeah she said something about someone entering the room for the first time or entering the house for the first time and you know when you're entering you're like ah eh, eh, cool, leo, eh, cool, leo. like i'm home something like that eh, cool, leo. it sounds so cool right your body is a very cool language and then she said when someone enters you don't tell the person a cool eh? you tell the person a cabo a cabo welcome so yeah no more welcome it's gonna be a cabo from today whether you're Yoruba or not, you're going to be hearing the exact buff from my mouth. So what else did I learn? Okay, there's also something she said. If you want to say bye, if you want to tell someone bye, someone that is going, you can say, usually, I just felt like they were all the same thing. Odabo, Odaro, Odala. Like, they say it and it's, everything is the same to me. Nobody to explain it to me, but within one week of actively learning this language, I've been able to understand that. Odabo, sorry, Odaro is totally different from Odabo. Odaro is simply you saying, see you till tomorrow morning. And then Odabo, Odabo, yeah, it's just you saying bye bye. You don't know when next you're going to meet. But when you say Odabo, you're like, bye bye, bye. I don't know when next I'm going to see you. So that's it. So what else have I learned? I've learned how to, you know, express your express yourself when you meet someone for the first time you can ask of a person's name like ah, that's how to say how what is your name and the person can respond like very sweet language victory Amo, um, these people in this town are going to hear it. They are going to. Let's not be proud. We have not had the language yet. Let us calm down. <laughs> so, yeah, you can introduce yourself by saying, Oruko, my name. Sorry, Oruko, your name. That's name. That's many. That's how to say name in Yoruba. Me. Me is my. You claiming the name. And then me is. Orukomini victory. Orukomini vi. Oruk. Ah, it's going wrong. So yeah, those people are gonna hear it after I'm done learning my Yoruba. So yeah, she also went for that talk about how to tell someone please to meet you or nice to meet you. You can say, you can say inu mi dun lati moe. Inu mi do, inu mi do lati moe. Like you see someone for the first time, maybe a pretty boy. You're, you know, after introducing yourself, oruko mi ni victory, and then you cannot look at the boy and like inu mi do lati moe. Ah, and see because I've learned this language, I'm going to go and look for a fine Yoruba uncle and prove to him that I know Yoruba. <laughs> so guys that is it that's how to you know express yourself to the person like i'm so pleased to meet you i'm excited to meet you you know stuff like that what else did i learn i also learned how to say i am eating i am eating is mong jeong is it mong jeong forgotten but please if i make any mistake just correct me Mon is like i'm eating and then you want to say that girl is eating is um 
obirin yen obirin obirin yen cheun obirin yen cheun and then when he's a guy you're like okunrin yen cheun that boy is eating that girl is eating mon cheun i am eating and then another thing when someone is talking and person is just talking 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 or maybe person is talking really fast and you want the person to calm down and you cannot really like comprehend what the person is saying okay according to my teacher you can tell the person uh rora masoro rora masoro rora masoro it's like speak up speak loudly you are so slow just tell the person rora masoro rora masoro rora masoro this is literally how I learn languages by constant repetition and then just playing around with it and then it eventually sticks in my ori abi ori no head we is head so it eventually sticks in my head so that's it and then I also learned one bad word for this moment that their head have spoiled I'm sorry I'm not supposed to be saying this in this video but I have to because some people have been looking for my trouble and they're Yoruba people I need to tell them that will be <laughs> I'm sorry but let, yes I learned that if you want to tell someone that their head is spoiled tell them that's how to tell someone that this is your not i have lose so yeah <laughs> I'm just joking I might not tell I might just get to use it during translation, but I might not really say it. I'm just clear. So that's it. I also learned how to say um like if someone is talking to somebody else, you can tell the person by me sorrow, like talk to me, by me sorrow. And then I also learned how to say that uh, how to say you're tired. I, to say you're tired, you simply say oti remi o oti remi. Oti remi, oti remi. I'm tired, right? I'm tired. I want to sleep. Monsu, 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 monsu. How do you say right now? Okay, eat. Monsu, lower. Like, yeah. So you like oti remi o, monsu lower. Like, I'm tired. I want to sleep right now or I'm sleeping right now right and then another interesting thing I learned was how to ask someone where they are from yeah you guys are learning you about with me because I'm teaching you something I learned I'm teaching you so you're supposed to pay me money so just watch this YouTube video the only way you can pay me is to watch this YouTube video give me a like yes like this video and comment and subscribe yes that's the only way you can pay me for teaching you but even though i don't entirely know you but i'm teaching those new people that don't understand you but and and those that understand you but that you feel like i'm not pronouncing it way please correct me on the comment section maybe in the future i'll find something for you maybe in the future if you want to ask someone where they are from you can tell the person um nibo nibo is where lotiwa Nibo Lotiwa. So Nibo is where Lotiwa is where you're from. Abi, where do you come from? So if I want to respond, I can say Mwalati Pinin. Mwalati Edo State. Mwalati Hish. Mwalati Edo State. Yes, as a fine girl like me, a do girl that is learning Yoruba. I will introduce myself. I'll just tell the person there. Mwalati so so and so. And then I was able to learn on my own. From the word nibo, you can ask where is someone like where is that girl? Where is that girl? You can say nibo yen obirin obirin. Embarrassing myself. Nibo yen obirin. Like where is that girl? Nibo okurin. Like where is that boy? Right. So you just join join the language to get that you be go. Oh, I'm just starting. When I'm done, yeah, we eight. <laughs> so that's basically the things I have learned in your bar. How to greet, how to you know introduce yourself. Yes, how to introduce yourself. How to you know just to do basic communications. And then when it comes to numbers, 
I've not really learned how to say numbers in Yoruba, but basically I've learned how to say Okan. I mean, is it Okan Abi Okun? One, Okan. They've not taught me, but I just use my sense, learn from people and still, you know, dub it. You say Meji, Meta, <coughs> Meji, Meta, um, Marine, Maroon, Abi? Maroon, Mafun. I don't know if I'm guessing it, you guys should, you know, just tell me in the comment section. So that's basically all about uh, my progress in Yoruba language. I intend to, you know, continue learning. And here, yeah, oh, please wish me well. It's not easy to be a polyglot. I'm trying so hard. So, yeah, support me by liking my video, subscribe to my channel, and if you want to keep on seeing this beautiful face, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up okay so that's everything about this video Odabo, because if i say odaro i don't know if i'm going to upload tomorrow morning so it is odabo from my site odabo